Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds. In the last part, we unlocked the Mayamais and generally just finished up so the um, first thing. So, going back into Ravio's shop, we'll tell you the sand rod has been turned. Wonder what it does? Well, you better snatch it up quickly before someone else gets it. We actually are going to be grabbing the sand rod here. 50 rupees, but if we're going to open it, I and mean, what if we want to own it? It's 800. I'll spend the 50 just because, I don't know, I've, I think we'll be fine for this dungeon and I need the money for other stuff sooner than later. Uh, also between episodes, because I had no um, healing items, I went and I, I, I got us three fairies. So we'll put the sand rod and bombs, our only two items here, and we're gonna go make our way towards uh, the net, the uh, sand dungeon. So let's use the bell and realize we have nothing closer than where we are right now. So we're headed to that bottom left area. I thought we had actually, yeah, I see this one guy here. Uh, we will go over those. Um, I know I said in the last part that's what we do next. However, I found out that we're actually missing a very important piece of doing that. And that is, um, well, what we're going to be getting at this dungeon. I'm going to be trying to take care of this dungeon today. So if we go around, I think we can head right in here. And now we're looking for pretty much just a, um, a, a weather vane, I guess is what they're called. Oh, we had one in here already. Alright. We need to get to the other area, so we're in the sand region. Which, thanks to this pillar right here, we can take it. The other pillar will just kick you out into the water, so... You can't quite get to it yet. But now that we are in this area, we can head north and try out our new weapon. And we're going to hear that doo -doo 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 repeatedly until we go get the Mile Eyes. So the Sand Rod can make blocks for us. A very nice trait. And you need bombs to open up this doorway. Which should allow us to get a little further into the next area. But yeah, once it's open, you don't need bombs anymore. But bombs are very helpful. If you go the wrong way, you unfortunately do have to go back through this and back. Is it only going to let me go the one way out? Yeah, it is. Alright. And that's all just for a piece of heart, so not actually going to be helping you with the dungeon itself. I thought that was one of the quicker ways into the dungeon. I am mistaken. Uh, we will go through, get pieces of heart and Mayamize all at the same time. So, in reality, let's head up here and show off one of the great features of the sand rod, which is it makes them basically up to your height. I think you could also use it to pick up items, but... Alright, now this doorway, we saw this one earlier. Um, this is the one up on the cliff that I said we had to get to first. Oh, no! It's, it's way too fidgety. I don't like that when you go out of the wormholes. If you're, if you're touching the wrong direction, you're right back in. Not the end of the world, admittedly, but still something that's quite annoying. See, there's the other side of that bridge right here. If Sandrod worked on um, water, we could use it there. Unfortunately. Sweet, free heart. <laughs> Not free hard. So yeah. If you do run into those guys, it's easier to just drop a bomb, and I believe you just dropped 50 rupees. 
Yeah, but yeah, a bomb will basically push its way through. So there are no sand in Hyrule. I'm oh, sorry, in low rule. But Hyrule does have this nice area, and it's this going to be how we're going to get to the next dungeon. If you had upgraded the sand rod, which you can do later with uh, items you own, you would have those pillars forever. Um, so it is a very useful thing to do about this dungeon if you um, were like if you do own it. Like it's 800 rupees, so we had enough already. But you also need to do some of the Maya Maya quest line. Uh, we don't want to save, but we do want that active, so now we can get back here really easily. And let's enter a familiar place. The Desert Palace. You cannot layer more than one at a time though, unfortunately. So if you do want to get to this treasure chest, you have to start here. And then go around on the wall. Which gets us a blue rupee. Yeah, nothing too, too important there. Just be careful, because if you're on these walls, they can still fall apart. I do not want to take a risk with these snakes. They're really quick. If you have the flame rod, you can actually um, light these guys on fire. And it uh, removes their bandages. At least it did in... Uh, what is it? A Link to the Past, so... Probably still does. Uh, I don't believe there are any Mayamais in any of uh, the dungeons, so that is one good thing. And if we throw up sand all through the center, we can just put a bomb down. Oh, never mind. But yeah, you see, there is it. Um, sending itself out. Um, it falls from what you started to the end, so it's easier to just do it all at once. Um, spin attack is your friend. Or, I guess, just attacking twice. Yeah, we're just gonna ignore that. And we have a nice gargoyle up here. We're going to have to move around places. Same with this gargoyle, I believe. Yeah, we can just pull him up to here. I'm going to push him. I like that this area has basically unlimited enemies. So if we need to... Yep, we can just push the sand or lift him up. But we can always heal up from the random enemies. Excuse you. Thank you. So we're going to be needing all three of these to open the door for us. Uh, much like in the Thieves Town dungeon, where we did use them. And we managed to make it across just before it collapses. Once again, if you have upgraded the sand rod, it will be really easy for you to do this because, well, it doesn't collapse anymore. This dungeon has been going a lot easier. Oh. We now have a shortcut pack up here whenever we need. Which is good because, well, we just hopped down. So, heading across, we're now on the opposite side, and... Looks like we're in a boss room. But we can't pick up those rocks. So we need to find some way to pick up rocks. So when his head pops out of the sand... Aww. You gotta catch him right when he appears. And he'll be lifted out and be fightable for a bit. And that was it. We want that treasure chest, which we cannot get to uh, right yet, because we'll take a look, can't make it, you've got to lift rocks for it. So we need to find, well, an item that'll let us lift rocks, which this is the item that we still need to get. Um, 
for finishing up the Mai Mai's. And look at that. There's actually a treasure chest we can't get at all because there's no way to lift the sand on this ground. But there's this little uh, pouring out point here. I assume that's where all the sand's going to come from. Just a little bit later. We still have no keys, surprisingly enough. So, we have to continue on. And I guess let's get sand in here right away. We got the compass, finally we can see the chests. But, turning on this, we'll pour the sand. It's our first instance of that in this dungeon. And that's going to be what's going to give us an option to get this next treasure chest. Since, see, everywhere is now sander. Sandier. Finally getting our small key. And with this, yeah, you can get to another treasure chest as well. So let's, let's pick that up while we're still here. And we get a monster tail. We're getting us quite a collection of those that'll help us really late game. Like, I only tend to use them on uh, Ganon, and I didn't use most of the potions. I used, I think, the blue potion, and that was about it. Because it's the uh, full heal one. So you can see in this one already, we are lacking sand to do basically anything. So we'll grab and pull. And look at that. The sky is going to pour sand down for us. And that chest right there, up in that corner, is what we're after. But I don't see any way into it. That looks like the top wall of the map. So, looks like we still have a little more to go before we can get that item. Uh, the item for the last dungeon was the, um, what are they called? Uh, the Master Ore. But we can just walk behind this wall of sand, and we get the Titan Mitts. Hoist in even large boulders will be a snap. Now we've only got the one large boulder that we haven't gotten already. So, let's go do it. Um, but yeah, and it was blocked. It's likely going to be a key, because we still need one for this next area. But these boulders are now carryable and throwable. Which is perfect, because, well, that's one thing we just weren't able to do. And there are Mayamais hidden under them, which is the actual reason we were unable to um, complete the Mayamai quest yet. But with that one, we can open this door and reach one of the dungeon exits. Because, remember, the dungeon, while it is in Hyrule, the boss isn't. There is no boss in this area. See? Looking around, nothing. But you can see there is a nice little... Like, you could barely see it when we went in. So, if you hide in your pillar, you're safe completely. Um, you don't have to. You also have your shield, should you need it. Well, provided you actually grabbed your shield, I suppose. Or you can throw up the sand to block one side while you shield the other. Once again, easier if you have uh, the upgraded sand rod. But, as you can see, it is not required. Oh, I'm sorry. Like it's the the sand I had thrown up distracted me, so I couldn't see that I hadn't picked it up. But we'll get another heart, and we're good. Sand can start. Oh, a bridge. I was gonna say sand can start pouring in, and we'll get past this area. But I am I'm okay with a bridge showing up. A little bit of rupees. I would have rather than hearts, all things considered. But in any case, we can now merge, and we're gonna head to the right side first. But that will be for next time. Let me just throw this bomb down while I was thinking I was pausing. Thank you guys for watching this episode of The Legend of Zelda A Link Between Worlds. In the next part, we will 
hopefully finish up the Desert Palace and get over to the Dark World. Now that we've got the mitts, we don't really have to, but we should still finish it. See you guys then.